Hi, I'm Bill McAnally with Touchstone Energy and the Together We Save program. This section uh, is, we're just going to do a little bit of an overview. Most of you that are viewing this right now are, are a lot more knowledgeable about this than, than I am anyway. Um, covering the, the heat pumps, the geothermal and the air source. Uh, when I worked with Iowa Central Community College, uh, we had probably the largest uh, uh, tonnage in the state of Iowa, well over a, you know, 1,000, 1,500 tons is I think what we're sitting at right now for geothermal. Uh, been installed since 1996. We've had really no issues at all. In fact, the last, uh, one of the last buildings on campus uh, built was a lead gold building where we used a, a pond uh, rather than wells uh, for our uh, uh, system. Um, we went with uh, vertical wells, we went with horizontal boring, we went with uh, uh, the pond and they all seem to be working very well, very efficient. Um, of course, there's a lot more talk now about the new generation of uh, air source heat pumps. I, I think that um, especially at the fairs, I think the customers are going to be very knowledgeable uh, or more knowledgeable than they have in the past, especially about the new air source heat pumps. Uh, a lot of talk out there and, and with, the, with them being able to be more uh, capable of handling our cold winters, uh, you know, we may start seeing a real uh, influx of this into the market. Uh, the geothermal still tried and true. Um, you know, I can see especially for school systems, you know, bigger, bigger projects where this, this is really going to be working well. But we've, I think we're really going to have to step up our, our information uh, uh, network on the air source so we're prepared to answer any questions on the air source heat pumps.